Hello everyone, welcome to this talk. My name is Stefano Rigano and I do user interface and user experience design here at Odoo. I'm here with Marcelo. Hello, Marcelo. Hello, Stefano. How are you? Ah, it's good. It's good. Wonderful day. So, um, what about me? I'm the designer behind the backend user interface, uh, Odoo.com, the website editor user interface, and several apps and uh, website teams for Odoo. If this is not your first rodeo in Odoo, you probably already know me for other talks like what's the future of design in Odoo and uh, the entire series of how to create a gorgeous website with Odoo, starting from version 9 until today with version 15. Uh, today's talk will be very tailored to design topics. So if you are curious about, for example, what uh, Odoo brings to e-commerce, you may check my colleague uh, Thomas' talk. Uh, it's called uh, uh, um, Building uh, E-commerce Website for Odoo, of course. And um, uh, if you want to know all the features that we introduced for website in version 15, you can check my colleague's Clement talk uh, uh, what's new on website. Uh, if you have any questions, if you have any notes, just write it in uh, the chat. After the presentation, uh, we will have a little break and then I will uh, reply to all your questions. Uh, I think that it's enough for an introduction. What do you think? Looking at you, I can tell where the design, gorgeous designs come from. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's enough, really enough. So let's dive in and move forward with the presentation. So today's topic will be how to use the configurator as a design slash brainstorming tool, how to create unusual layouts with uh, Odoo using just default snippets, and uh, how to use shapes and animated shapes directly into images, and finally, how to embed HTML content. So, uh, I think that we are ready for a demo. What do you think? Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. So, uh, let's check out the configurator first. I'm in the backend of Odoo, so I will go in settings, I will go in the website tab, and then I will create a new website. Uh, I will just write test as the name of the website. We don't want to create a real website. We want just to use the configurator to create a different layouts. So uh, after click, click on create, I will be redirected to the redirected to the wizard of the configurator. And uh, the system will ask me some basic questions about uh, the website that I want to create. So which kind of website is it? Um, I will say just a business website. And then uh, the system will ask me which kind of interest the industry I want to cover. Uh, we cover uh, something like 2000 uh, in industries. So it's very difficult that we don't cover your scenario. Uh, we'll go with a Jaguar dealer. And uh, our main objective is to get leads. Of course, depending by the option that you select, you will get a different result. But we care about mostly is the design part in this case for us. So um, you can choose a pre-made palette. Let's go with this one. And then you can uh, define some options and features that you want to add in your website. Again, what we care mostly about is this page, the final result. Why? Because we can use this final result as a brainstorming uh, to check different layouts and different colors for the website that we want to, that we want to create. Sometimes you, you have already a clear idea about the website you want to create, so you, you make a mock-up, but you want to test if there are other options around. And the configurator is a tool that Sometimes, even in Odoo, we use to uh, to check if there are different options and different design solutions for the uh, for our uh, websites. Uh, so we can go back and check uh, another uh, palettes and check the final result with a different palettes. Of course. The yeah, I don't, I don't like Stefano. Can we go like uh, black and yellow? Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Yeah, we have. Uh, this pre-made palettes of course you can upload your own logo and customize your palette uh, but yellow marcello we have this one that is pretty good i guess 
and so we have our Jaguar dealer website made with yellow colors. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. Thank you. So this was the first topic of the demo. Let's move to the second part, let's say. And uh, for this part, we will uh, create a web page, let's say. Uh, but the final result will not it will not be the beauties website ever. It's just to put in place the topics. topics Don't be so modest. Demo. Come so, on. Sorry? Don't be so modest. Oh, I will try, I will try. <laughs> So the first topic was about to create this unusual layout. And uh, in order to do so, I will drag and drop the um, two blocks snippet. I will remove everything is on the first block. Great. So let's move the title to uh, this is not a title. Let's move it normal so it will be hidden. And then remove the icon. Uh, we will make this block uh, white default, uh, and you like it yellow, right? Yeah. Let's uh, make it yellow. Let's keep the same as before. Yeah. So we choose a palette that is yellow and black, as you wanted it before. Okay. Uh, so how to achieve the unusual layout? We change the background, and uh, this is very usual layout. As you can see, we have two blocks, and uh, what we will do is to duplicate the section. So we have a clone of the same section, and uh, we will remove the content from the cloned section. Here we are. No dots. Mm -hmm. Let's remove the icon and let's make this uh, second section a bit smaller. So let's adjust the padding here and there. Okay. Remove everything. And now the final effect we wanted to achieve. So let's change a bit. And let's apply the image we want to be visible on top of the yellow section. So uh, the first part is done. As you can see, we, we achieved the effect of having the image overlapping the block. Uh, now uh, we will clone the overlapping section. And uh, we'll just select it. And I will move it on the top. OK. So the effect is now complete and is done. Of course, you can achieve the same visual result using shapes. Uh, but uh, what's interesting in this case is that we can uh, uh, disable this behavior when you are in mobile. Indeed, you see saving the page, uh, the images overlap the section. But going in mobile mode, the yellow bar is visible there. And it doesn't make a lot of sense, actually. So since we use default snippet and not shape in this case, I can directly hide the entire snippet on mobile. And when I will click on mobile, the. But then, Stefano, if you, if you have content in that block and you uh, take it away from the mobile view, do you lose all the content as well? Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, uh, um, when you select the option to hide in mobile, everything is inside will be hidden in mobile mode. Uh, in this case, it's not a big deal, of course, uh, because we, we this is just a decoration. And so, um, yeah, so the content will be hidden. Uh, something else we can do to improve this design in mobile is to set uh, uh, fixed height for this action. And uh, uh, there are not a lot of changes in desktop, but when you go on mobile, it's less or more bigger, but we can do it more bigger. Yeah, we can go to 100% to cover the entire page, but I will stay to 50% just for the sake of the sample here. Uh, what can we do to improve this page since we are here? I would like to change this header and uh, 
um, change the position so move it over the content okay seems more oh. neat to me much better yeah and uh, of course we have the little shadow and this little shadow is not needed anymore so i will just remove the little shadow there okay i think that our demo page is taking shape somehow so i think that we can proceed further and uh, i will add a title just to introduce a separation between uh, the next section maybe make it smaller even more okay so the next section will be um masonry block something new is that now in odoo you can finally change the template of some snippets like in this case for example you can change the orientation of the image change the uh, number of blocks etc uh, in this case i will go with this layout and since uh, we have some few images about clock so i will add uh, a clock image here i will just pick this one okay but uh, can you put as well a, a video an image or a, yeah, a gif yeah. over there like can, yeah. you, can you put a girl dancing like this <laughs> yeah sure uh, we you can add basically any kind of videos or content here uh, i will add the girl dancing because we have it in our library likely okay so we have the girl dancing and uh, the video will say stick to the block let's add another section just to separate a little bit uh what can we do to improve this uh we can add we already added an image that is used as a full as a um, uh, fallback image so when the video will not be visible we will show the uh, image in background instead uh, we can also add a shape okay like in this case the triangle white triangle and we can replicate the same effect on the other side uh, so we will have a shape that is the same and then we will change the orientation and we will flip it okay so we will create this polygon um, design um, now let's just uh, change some picture here and there okay remove some titles that are not needed anymore and i bet this girl dancing there she's called uh, jenny yeah jenny from the block it. actually we, we can add a little label there yes first we had a little now i have a lot <laughs> okay um so let's move forward again the next topic is about uh adding embed content this is a long time requested feature uh we took our time because we wanted to do it right uh so uh uh, year already selected some content is an audio playlist but of course you can add any kind of content as long as html edit and just pass the content inside and the playlist is wonderfully integrated so why using the snippet and not the html editor um here in the html editor you can add as many content as you want but the good point of using a snippet is that after that you added the embed code you can uh, uh, change the position you can change the size you can change you can uh, trade this um uh, this html content as a real udo snippet then what else we can do is to add a parallax image it's not a real uh, Udo website without a parallax image and uh, we'll choose another picture and uh, in this case the image is not perfectly centered so i will click on the little crosshair icon and i will choose the perfect position for the, my images and since this is version 15 we add also shapes and we're not animated ones so 
let's find some some shapes that will fit this design i like those ones these are animated but probably this effect is more interesting okay let's go with this one and let's so let's add some shapes here too in our little image on top mm -hmm. draw shapes Like these little blocks around the corner. Okay, perfect. Uh, something else we can add is a. Uh, uh, is a steps snippet to illustrate our user which are the different step of the process of a checkout, for example. And uh, what can we do in this case of interesting is to animate each block. With a fedin introduction and uh, changing the delay for each block so here the delay is zero here we add a fedin with a delay to delay of zero three then we add another fedin with zero six i think that you already get the point now because here we go with fedin and then we'll go with uh, I will go with one this time, one second of delay. Save the page. When the user scroll down, all the steps will appear with different delay. What do you think, Marcelo? Very good, very good. I just, uh, I think that if you keep on adding some blocks there, we will have a small village soon. <laughs> we will have, sorry? We will have a small village. Yeah, so many blocks sure, in there. Sure, yeah. there are a lot of blocks there. <laughs> okay, uh, I think that is enough for the presentation. We will have a little break and I uh, will reply to all your questions just a bit after. Thank you. And thank you, Marcelo. You're welcome. Have a nice day. See you later. All right, welcome back. That was a very interesting talk by Stefano, and he's here with us now to answer some of the questions that you may have had during the presentation. So let's go through the chat and look at some of the questions. Of course, we have a bit of a discussion about the technical issues for which we apologize. The first question by Fabio is the type slash for commands a new feature? I think it was already answered, Stefano. Yeah, I see that it's answered in the chat, but yeah, it's a new feature actually, and uh, is included both in the front end and uh, in the back end. So you can uh, use the same logic and the same uh, functionality even when you, for example, uh, write a description for a task in the back end. Okay. Basically, you you use the combination key and uh, depending if you are in the back end or in the front end you will get different kind of content it okay. may be a list or an image mm -hmm. in the website or other kind of content that are website related okay i didn't know there was a difference for the front end the second question that we have is from zeal and he's asking is the flexibility of the odoo editor improved in odoo 15 uh, or not yeah by a lot uh, there are a lot of new features and we succeed to successfully integrate these new features in the editor. Like for example, the, uh, the fact that you can uh, apply specific changes like gradients in the text itself. Uh, theoretically, you could apply gradients in uh, each single letter of a title okay. and also animations. Uh, so yeah, uh, flexibility is improved a lot. Okay, perfect. If we move on, we have a question from Hans saying, can I, for example, implement a backend route for account.invoice, which returns a number, call from the backend, and display the result on a website? Okay. If I if understood it well, it's about showing to a potential client, for example, an invoice in the front end. And we already have something for that. We already have the portal. So if uh, you have a website installed, you can already share uh, through the portal uh, this kind of content to uh, not uh, log in users. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Let's scroll down. We have another question from Zeal asking, are there any new templates and features available in Odoo 15? Yeah, features like a lot. I mean, um, there is a talk that is all about what we, we introduce in um, 
in uh, for version 15 and uh, yeah for templates we we reviewed and redesigned all the teams mm -hmm. and uh, we implemented a new templating system for snippets themselves so okay. you can uh, select a snippet and change the template of the snippet uh, so new features new templates yeah okay so a big 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 release a similar question from ahmed can we add more shapes uh you no you can't if you mean like custom shapes no mm -hmm. currently we can't through the user interface you can always create uh, your own module and inject uh, svg and uh, uh, fetch this uh, content in the uh, editor itself but uh, it's not worth i mm -hmm. mean if you have a specific need like using a specific svg for a web page you can just uh, use the library and uh, uh, import the image and using it as a common image. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. We have another question from Administración del Residencial, where they ask, we are located in different countries. Can corporate manage the five different websites or are five users needed? And can web designers create more than one site? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, we support um, uh, multiple websites. And uh, yeah, this, is, this scenario is totally covered by Edu. Okay, perfect. And then Zeal, yeah, so Zeal asks, can we add custom shapes in the editor like a template or not? So I guess with your yeah. previous answer, yeah, and no, but. No, but. <laughs> right, okay, perfect. We have another question uh, from Tiago Santos who says, there is hide in mobile. Will there be a hide in desktop feature? Uh, no, not currently. Uh, this is not a very common user case scenario, but I understand why you need that sometime. Uh, in this case, what I may suggest to you is to uh, possibly using the HTML editor and uh, using one of the default bootstrap classes and add uh, directly the class in the element that you want to hide okay. for the specific scenario. Okay. Then we have a question from Daniel saying, can you save page templates? No, you can't save page templates, but you can save snippets. It is the most common way to uh, reuse a different kind of components mm -hmm. uh, across the website. Uh, it's very uncommon that you have to clone an entire page, and uh, if, if you have to do that, uh, it's a very specific need. What we cover is the possibility to take blocks and uh, save them and reuse them in other pages. Okay. Let's do maybe one more question before we run out of time. A question yep. from Olivier Mercier. For developers, is it possible to modify those layouts? So if we want to push the customization further for specific client needs? If you are a developer, yeah, of course. All these templates, uh, I mean, we are talking about um, snippets templates, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, these templates are piece of code, so you can uh, XPath and uh, uh, customize them. Okay, so if I hear it right, we can really do a lot more with Odoo 15's website yeah. builder yeah. than we could do before. Yeah, indeed. There's a lot. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. If you have more questions, there will be an extended Q&A where the link will be posted in the live chat and you can ask any further questions to Stefano there. So for Hans, I think that will be where you'll get an answer to your questions. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.